Hey, yo, yo, I guess it's me. Hey, yo, yo, I guess it's me, Episaric, and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So right now, we're gonna be raiding this base named the Kusik. So I guess without any further ado, let's just hop straight into it. So here we go, we're inside of the base, gonna get out of my chopper, and like always, we're gonna go and check out the truck, because, you know, maybe inside of the truck, we're gonna get like 20 grenades, and we got literally nothing. <laughs> That's a nice start, like they say... The way you start your raid, this is how it's gonna end up, right? So, I started my raid pretty good with an empty truck, so whatever. And again, this base doesn't even have a chopper, so that's a little bit sad. But again, I'm gonna deal with that. Now, first of all, let's find an entrance. And I did a little bit of research on this base, and by the looks of it, this base is gonna have a lot of walls and some chests, so that's why I took a lot of hatchets. But thanks God that it doesn't require any C4s, so whatever. I think I can even chop down my wall from over here. It's gonna work out, so let's see. Well, here we go. I destroyed that wall, and nothing was inside. I think I'm gonna chop down my wall from over here now and i think inside that we should be able to see a couple of chests oh no am i serious really from all these possible walls i chopped down for uh, close to another cb radio and the sad part is that you can't destroy that cb radio this is so annoying mate like why 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 i don't understand you know what i'll do i will chop down this wall this is disgusting this is so annoying i just wasted my level two hatchet and i made a lot of noise and i can't do anything about it from what i know i'm not sure if i can chop down walls from over here let's try to do this am i chopping down a chest or am i chopping down a wall. Why do I do? I don't know, to be honest. Don't ask me. Okay, this is just a chopper and another chest there. Okay, we're gonna chop all of those down, and I also know... Okay, we're not gonna be chopping down from their side. Look at that, guys. I think Wave of Zombies is spawned, so they're gonna come and attack me, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna shred them super quickly, just like that. And you know what? I just realized that this is the same base that they give you when you start off your last dinner survival account. There's that CB radio. There's those couple of stone walls that they give you in the beginning of the game, but whatever. That's not the point. The point is that I will try to chop down level one wall from the down, and if I I am correct. Wait, I am lost right now. <laughs> There has to be another level one wall. Tell me that this is level one wall. Yes, indeed, this is a level one wall. We're not gonna make a lot of noise. That's why I wanted to do it. Here we go. Let's chop that down. Here we go. It's done. And we know. Oh yeah, we have one more uh, chest. So definitely gotta chop it down. And inside of this chest, we're definitely gonna get some goodies like uh, ten mini guns. And inside, we just got a hammer. Right? Pretty good. Better than mini gun. <laughs> Well, let's take those duct tapes. Let's take the bricks, maybe a little bit of glue. Definitely gonna throw that away if we're gonna find something better. But as of right now, this is as good as it gets, I believe. I'm gonna chop down the chest here. Let's see, let's see what kind of goodies are we gonna get inside of the chest. Well, we got a couple of stones. Definitely, let's take that. Let's take some aluminum. Always, aluminum is always appreciated. Let's take the green tickets because so far there is nothing better than that. And also, let's take the skull crusher because I forgot to take it and the springs. Here we go inside of this middle big, big chest. Not super big, big. We got a couple of Glocks. Noise. I mean, they're kind of broken, but again, a couple of Glocks, a few aid kits, gasoline. I mean, leather is cool, but I already have a lot of leather, and this leather isn't even finished. So, you know, gonna take it if I won't find anything better. But so far, it's okay. I don't need to bring it. I'm gonna fill up my chopper now with garbage, and at the same time, I'm gonna deal with another wave of zombies. So just like I said, I filled the chopper with this kind of garbage. I mean, if at least I got two full durability Glocks, that would have been better. But again, at the same time, I didn't have to use any C4s on this base, so loot is always appreciated because... When Whenever you're doing a raid and you don't have to use any C4s, it's basically just a free raid. And I do know that a lot of people keep saying to me, well, Sarek, just deal with it, C4s are meant for raiding. And I totally agree on that, that C4s are meant for raiding. But when you grind for C4s for a couple of days and you get nothing, that's just sad. But whatever. I think I said that already thousands and thousands of times, but let's take a couple of patches, right? We're gonna craft some bandages with them. So patches are kind of appreciated. Well, there's one more chest and probably Wave of Zombies is gonna spawn and etc. and etc. But I wanna deal with this furnace. And inside of the furnace, we got some more iron. Definitely gonna take that gonna well i thought that i will soften up the chest but i'm not gonna be softening it up i'm just gonna open it up and inside we got a couple of planks noise 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 not super that noise noise as you think but better than nothing i think that phrase is better than nothing it been said in this channel multiple times already more than i should have probably but again am i wrong here you know what i'm gonna do three hits to this chest one two here go this we have three hits on this chest and most likely uh yeah toxic abomination started rushing me we're gonna shred them and we just leveled up pretty nice let's select a skill and we're gonna get you pick locks 35% faster definitely gonna take this kind of I don't think it's super useful but probably better than nothing well I'm gonna chop this chest down the big one still isn't gonna spawn and we got a lot of and a lot of planks that's pretty cool we have a lot of here mobile phones and you can recycle them for the circuits for the electronic circuits and for those who need those electronic circuits to finish their like acid bath or unlock that sector 7 and definitely pick up those phones but I have like probably 60 or 70 electronic circuits at the base and I don't really need them so I think I'll chop down this wall and maybe maybe inside i'll get something nice but i don't think there are any more chests yeah by the looks of it i don't think there will be any more chests here and maybe i should chop the 
the wall from over here. Because these level one walls do only two noise, so that's not a big deal. We can test out and check out what's gonna happen behind these walls. And as we see, it's totally empty. And I think if I chop this wall down, the big one still isn't gonna spawn because we're at 95. If I chop it down, it's gonna be at 90. No, yes, cool. Everything is still fine. Ooh. So we chopped this base completely fully and we didn't find any chests. And again, this base is kind of definitely interesting to raid because it had a lot of walls. It had some chests. It just It's way more interesting than just placing 1c4 and getting four chests inside. You have to chop down here a couple of walls. These are the kind of raids that I love. Wish we could get more raids like that. Well, there are these small rooms. Maybe I'll try to chop them down, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything inside of them. If I don't get... Yeah, indeed. The big one has spawned, right? Please tell me that there will be only one big one because last time, as if you remember, base... Okay, the big one came... Two big ones, dude! What? What is going on? Why there are two big ones on the base, man? What did I do to deserve this? We got two big ones and that wasn't really that fun. I mean, that was fun, but yeah, yeah, there's only one big one, so not a big deal. So I'm back at the base and you know what? Another fun part is that now we have to pay the raiders, right? But the point is, if I'm gonna give them these planks... Seems true, I knew I could trust you. What? They take planks? Do they take stones? Is this a joke? Right, they don't take stones, but they're definitely gonna take these stones. Seems true, I knew I could trust you. You know what? Take the stack of those and get out of my base. Well, at least they took those finished bricks because I thought they're not gonna take any of that. I thought that, look at that, it's kind of hilarious because this is the garbage loot that we got and they don't even take it, but they took it, so hey, kind of a fail on me. And also with the patches that I got, I was able to craft 13 bandages and like I said, bandages and first aid kits are always appreciated in this game, so loot-wise, that base definitely wasn't that bad. Pretty garbage, but not super, super garbage. So I just took a shower and now I'm gonna go and check out the raiders because I called them. I wanna see what kind of tasks we got and... I just got an idea what if there were such tasks as go wash your chopper, go take a shower or something like that. I think those tasks would be hilarious and kind of interesting. Okay, so we got to go see Jennifer and get five boxes and we have to do 20 waves at the police department. That's what I was planning to do today here anyway. So we're definitely going to go to police department right now. We got to do those 20 waves for the sakes of Raiders tasks. So I'm at the police department right now. So let's let the narrator talk a little bit once again. So Cyric decided to do 20 waves at the police department and when he entered the police department, he met the Raider. But sadly, Raider did not greet him this time, but that isn't gonna stop Cyric from doing 20 waves at the police department because he's totally determined that he isn't gonna fail. Well, I don't know what to say about it. I guess smash like for the narrator. And I guess let's actually go and start doing the police department. And also, I think we've already opened here five boxes. Yes, indeed, I opened them. I took all the required ingredients. And also, I try to kill this jailbird now. And if I open the jail, yes, indeed, other dudes do not attack me. That's pretty cool. But they will attack me at the end after I'll do those waves at the police department. So in any case, I'll have to fight them. But hey, you know what? Let's start doing here 20 waves. I did take a little bit of guns, a lot of broken guns, however, because I want to clear up some space in my at my base so here we go let's start police department and let's do the spread shots here we go first wave was done let's try to do the second one the beginning is definitely pretty easy i think we could even do this uh, place with melee weapons but hey who has time for melee weapons wave three and like always wish i took some more grenades but again i don't have a lot of grenades but we have the spread shot so we're gonna use spread shot but again my biggest advice when you start doing police department definitely try to save up a couple of grenades and start using them like after wave seven after wave ten this way you'll get the most value of your grenades and grenades are definitely appreciated especially when you hit five zombies at the same time. And for those who do not know or if you're new to the channel, I still keep grinding this police department in order to get enough purple cards because I want to open up five purple cards at the same time and maybe, maybe I will be able to get my AK grenade launcher blueprint because if I don't get my AK grenade launcher blueprint after opening up five purple crates, I think I'm just going to give up that dream of getting the grenade launcher blueprint because it's not really fun grinding for it when it's just completely such an RNG. It's not fun. I definitely wish that they done something to the system to this purple blueprint system because it's not really fun when everything is just dependent so heavily on RNG. I don't think there is a single player who's like, yay, RNG, I love it. And I also haven't killed raiders in a really, really long time because I gotta get my VSSs. I started running low on VSSs because I stopped killing those raiders. It's just killing raiders takes really a lot of time, even though like some might say, well, they're really worth it, but you have to prepare for everything. You have to set the timer so that they come in time. Maybe they're not gonna raid your base if you're not gonna be online, but probably they will. So I'm don't want to risk it. I don't want to check that out. But in any case, preparing to fight the Raiders takes a lot of time and yeah, but it's at least kind of rewarding. So, so we're almost done with 20 waves. How many waves have done? Okay, 13 waves, still seven more waves. Not really almost done, but we are halfway through. And some of you might have noticed that we have here active skill on the VSS. So let's actually shoot it because we don't waste any durability on our gun if we shoot at anything. But I'm not, I'm not using this aimed shot active skill because it's just, it does like probably double the damage and it used triple the durability or something. I'm not sure. But the point is, 
it seriously waste of durability on this VSS? So it's definitely not advised to use this aimed shot active skill. It's probably the worst active mod you can get on your weapon. It just eats up your durability and doesn't do that much damage anyways. So here we go. Let's do wave 20 and I still did not get any... Okay, 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 okay. What did I do? Okay, cool. Let's take the spread shot. And what I wanted to say is that I still did not get any blue cards here. That's sad. Just second blue card. I'll be happy. I wasted so many first aid kits here. My boy. And we got another blue card. E boy. <laughs> Two blue cards in one wave. Are you kidding me? This is literally Birthmas, guys. Christmas and birthday. Definitely those people. I don't know. You know what? Uh, people who are born on Christmas, right? They are going to get only one present. So... Is that really birthmas for them? I'm gonna ju just do one more extra wave just in case. But I've been always thinking about it. So when you have birthmas, when you're bur born on Christmas and on birthday, are you lucky? Because probably you're just gonna get one present. You're not gonna get two presents, right? So are you lucky or unlucky? That's that's the question. But again, life isn't all about the presents. <laughs> Even though receiving presents is cool, is cool but... It's not all about the present. Cyric and his philosophy. Okay, let's pick up all of the tickets. Pretty cool. I'm just glad that we got three green. It's super beautiful. We got eight green. I mean, we got three blue and eight green. I keep confusing those two words. Okay, let's surrender. Pretty worth it. Pretty worthy wave. We're also going to go to Jennifer's place to exchange a couple of things at her, blah, blah, blah. But look at how many coupons we have here already. Let's put that over here. And we have 24 blue cards. I mean, only 26 left and we'll be able to open up five purple. I think this is going to be a really, really, really epic opening. I mean, we can get 10 extra blue cards if we exchange these 100 green, but that's still not a lot. That's still not enough. I think I'll just grind police department way more more often maybe next time when it resets i'll try to do a live stream like four hour live stream where we just try to grind like 99 waves or something so if you're interested in doing in me doing a live stream where we'll try to like do let's say 99 waves once again then try to smash that like button down below and leave a comment cyrek do 99 waves at police department then we'll see because you know guys those like buttons motivate me so you know motivate me with those like buttons I need that motivation. <laughs> so right now I'm at the gas station and I believe that only cool people watch this video till this point. So shout out to all of you who's watching the video till this point because you are cool. And I also took a lot of wheels and engine parts to give to Jennifer because I want to get those five boxes. And at the same time, I wanted to give a huge shout out to all of you guys because recently we've hit 70,000 subscribers. I think right now we're like at 71,000. So I just want to give, give a huge shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for all your support. It's just amazing. I'm so glad that so many people are interested in the videos that I do. So many people turn to tune to watch Happy Cyric. And uh, just thank you guys for your support. And also, if we keep growing on this rate, I believe that it is totally possible for us to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I think that would be super amazing. Let's say on Christmas or something like that, we'd be able to get our silver, silver play button. I think that would be the ultimate goal because, I don't know, that's just so amazing. You know what? Let's not dream too far away. I'm already happy with where we are. So, whatever. What's up? What's up, Jennifer? So, let's try to give those wheels. Okay, so one uh, chopper fork gives 500, right? So, let's give two chopper forks and I think we'll need to give four wheels. One, two, three, and Indeed, let's give the fourth wheel. And I think we're going to have four boxes. Yes, indeed, we have four boxes. So I think I'm going to give like five engine parts and that's it. Some people might call me crazy that we give her engine parts. But at the same time, who cares about it? And uh, we got five boxes. Let's open them up. And just like I said, it's kind of sad that we just get here repair kits. We definitely could get something better rather than just rather than just these repair kits. But hey, not going to say no to that. But mods for our motorcycle, for our chopper would be better than these repair kits. But hey, maybe one day developers are going to change how gas station works. And maybe we'll be able to get some gas. Maybe we'll be able to get some sort of a mod, you know, find a tube at the gas station where we could get some gasoline from these cars. But why do I know? That's just my speculation. And that's just something that I would like to have in the game. So I highly suggest you checking out this last dinner survival video where our guy is taking a shower and he's singing over there. It's a pretty funny video. Just look here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Click here on the second card and you'll watch Raiders sneaking in the farm. It's pretty fun. We talk there about torches. So click in one of those cards and you'll be able to check out whatever video. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess, yeah. Hmm.